In this video, we're going to talk about how to turn on the back order feature and what the flow looks like inside of an invoice to a purchase order. So to get things started, let's head to the admin screen and then the inventory preferences on the left hand side nav. Once you're inside the inventory preferences, click additional settings and scroll down to the option called enable the back order feature. Check the box and hit save and congratulations, you've turned on the back order feature. There is one more thing we should talk about so that the back order feature works the way you expect it to. And that is products and services, specifically around what a product needs to look like in order for it to be able to use the back order feature. Your product will need to at least be set to maintain stock. Serialized products work as well, but if we're tracking instances and you're out of stock of something, then the system will default back to creating a pending order, which I'm about to show you. So now let's go to an invoice and let's add this product. Let's say maybe this is a business you're deploying a bunch of computers to. Let's add the line item in here. And you'll see that in the quantity, it actually says pending five. What that means is, is there's now five instances that are waiting for you to create a purchase order for that product. You can click the pending five in a link and it will take you directly to the pending orders table page. It will also automatically open the lineup to show you that five are requested. You can quickly add it to a purchase order by clicking the checkbox here and then click add to PO. You'll then be prompted to ask if you want to open a new purchase order or add it to an existing one. In the case of the video, I'm just going to click new. You're then going to be taken to the purchase order detail page directly and the align will have been added so that you can quickly send this order off to your vendor. When the product comes in and you click the receive button, It'll ask you if you want to fulfill to the invoice that you reserved those products for. If you do, click this box and click the fulfill button. When you do that, you've finished the purchase order and moving back to the invoice, if you refresh the page, you'll see that the order has been fulfilled and the instances have been reserved on the invoice. What's nice about this is this allows you to create a invoice and maybe sell a product ahead of time that you don't have in stock so that you can order in those products and already have them accounted for for your clients. That's back orders. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.